the perfect length on Tucket.com. Code HERD, H-E-R-D, 20% off. Yeah, we, Tiger Woods was on yesterday. It was pretty interesting. He was just talking about how duration really makes the legend. And, you know, and we, we've discussed it, like, you know, the whole Michael LeBron thing. I know people get tired of it, but you do get to a point with Tom Brady and Joe Montana where Joe Montana, four Super Bowls, 4 no, three MVPs, he's perfect. And Tom Brady then gets to a point where he's, like, in double the Super Bowls, and you're like, okay, perfect doesn't matter. Like, that's what happened in the Brady-Montana argument. Like, it was for years and years until, like, two years ago, it was like, well, Montana never lost. He's perfect. And then you get to a point where the, there's just a volume of more Super Bowls, and we, we stop worrying about being perfect. I don't know why we get so paralyzed with perfect. Nobody's perfect. Teams aren't perfect. Uh, you know, I mean, like, Michael Jordan went seven, eight years. He wasn't winning anything. But when he got to the big one, he was perfect. We really penalize you harshly for losing in finals, which to me has never made a ton of sense because Magic got to nine, Jordan got to six. If you told me I could get to nine finals and win a bunch, I'd rather do that than go to four and win just four. I mean, I, I'm not paralyzed by perfect. But Tiger Woods was talking about this and said, you know, what's happening now with LeBron is just, it's just the time that he's been this great. The MJ or Gretzky, um, it's just the duration. They're able to do it not just for one year or not just for one game or not just for a little spell. Is that they're able to do it for a number of years. Every player out here can have one good week and, on, and blow away the field. Okay, great. Now can you do it for a month? Can you do it for a year? Now do it for a decade. Uh, do it for a decade plus. And what LeBron has done for, what, 15 seasons now? Um, it's just remarkable to be able to adjust as well because – we all know as we age that we're not going to be as athletic as we used to be. And so you have to do it different ways. And to be fluid and adjust and still be that talented and that good. Um, and hats off to not just LeBron, but the people I just named. Listen, I, I understand why we fall in love with Mike Tyson's six years of great. Like, I totally get it. But there's a reason that Ollie was great for double that. What you generally find is the reason people aren't great for an extended period of time is they're not good at managing themselves. Tiger Woods, fooling around, was a great golfer, wasn't very good at managing himself. Mike Tyson, great for seven years, but a train wreck out of the ring, wasn't good at managing himself. I mean, this is so much of this stuff. I mean, the reason LeBron has lasted longer than Michael Jordan, he doesn't drink as much, he doesn't party as much, he doesn't gamble as much, he, it's, he takes care of his body better. I mean, that's one of the great things about Kobe Bryant, is that Kobe Bryant had a great diet, was really committed to his craft. Kobe was kind of a go-to-bed early, wake up early, stay in the gym, very micro-focused career. I'm not saying it was perfect. He had a really bad incident, and it, but he rebounded with another seven, eight, nine years after that. Is that I understand why we're uh, attracted to these meteors and these explosions of greatness, Tyson and Tiger Woods. And, but, you know, in the end, Brady's just so much better in terms of total production than Joe Montana. In the end, Jack Nicholas is just so much better than Tiger in terms of total production, major wins. In the end, I mean, LeBron's just going to blow Michael out of the woods in terms of overall production. He's going to crush him in every statistical all-star games, all this, points, rebounds, assists. If you're going to be paralyzed by perfection and shorter careers, I get it. Like everybody loves Sandy Koufax in baseball. He was great three years. That's it. That's it. He was great three years. I can't call Sandy Koufax greatest pitcher ever. He gave me three great years, and that was it. Veteran newsman John Goulet. No, 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 no. Turn on the news. This is the Herdline News. So Seth Curry missed the uh, final six weeks at the end of the season and part of the playoffs as well. He had 28 points last night in their uh, series clinching victory. But if you ask Steph Curry, he's still a little bit off. Feel confident what I'm able to do out there. Timing can still get a little bit better with the ball and things like that. When you start to get so excited, still like 
when I'm out there and missing six weeks is still uh, appreciative of just being out there playing. Like I said, I continue to get better, continue to get my timing right, continue to uh, get back to the normal rotations, the normal you know, minutes that I'm out there playing, and you know, hopefully won't look back. They've really had no trouble in the playoffs so far with him not really fully back yet. Yeah. Uh, does anyone have a shot at beating them well, I if don't he think... gets back on track? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the, the best shot at beating them, I, I, I honestly, I, the best shot is Houston, and I don't think they match up across the board. Uh, so I, I think it'll be a five-game series, maybe six, but probably five. I also think that Houston gets Golden State's attention. Whereas New Orleans and San Antonio, which is, you know, living on fumes now. I think Golden State went into those series, and Steve Kerr really had to lock the guys in. Listen, you got Chris Paul, you have James Harden, you have Clint Compelle, you have Mike D'Antoni, you got Daryl Morey running that thing. Houston's getting everybody's attention, including Golden State. How important is that game one? just for Houston to show that they belong. Because if Golden State blows them out in game one, that's pretty much it, right? No, it's... It, 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 listen, here's the way the playoffs work now. You get blown out or you blow people out. Right. Like, I don't think I don't think players get too discouraged getting smoked. I think it's very easy in this league now with a three-ball to get smoked. Even good teams get smoked. So uh, we mentioned earlier this week that uh, Cavs' Rodney Hood refused to come off uh, come off the bench during some garbage time at the end of the uh, Game 4 against the Raptors. Right. So he was benched because he really had played pretty horrible all series and then didn't want to just get scrap minutes. Uh, however, Hood apparently apologized to Cavs GM Kobe Altman and has expressed great remorse for his actions. Yeah. The Cavs have said they will not discipline him for refusing to come off the bench. He's just a young, immature player that made a bad decision. He's fine. But, I mean, it's this is what this is why judgment is a really important thing in sports, and he doesn't have terribly great judgment. That's why, for the record, Houston wanted him out. They just thought Utah. he's got it. Utah wanted yeah. him out. Utah was like, listen, we think he's talented, but he's not consistent. He doesn't. He's not fully all in. I mean, he disappears in stretches. That's why Utah got rid of him. And you're now. This kind of validates why Utah got rid of him. They thought he lacked maturity, commitment, and consistency. And you know, six, you know, two sure. months after Utah got rid of him, the people in Utah are saying this morning, that's why we got rid of him. Plus, with their kind of ever, it seems like every night it's a, okay, who's going to work with LeBron tonight? Because it changes. I feel like maybe you don't want to turn your back on someone who, but I mean, the way it goes for the Cavs, by the end of the series against the Celtics, you may he need could him. be back to being a starter. Yeah. And finally, I'm going to mix in a little baseball, which I know I is it. rare on there the show. There we go. Uh, I don't, I'm sure you're aware of this, but in case you're not, a uh, yeah. little bit of a Yankees homer you myself. Are. Yeah, big fan. Uh, and I'm not sure if you know this, but they're the greatest team in the world right now. No, they're absolutely on fire because, they're A, their bullpen has turned around. It was a mess in the first month. Yep. And the other thing you got to say is what's great about this Yankee team they're going to be great for a decade. Outside of John Carlos Stanton, they're all babies. Well, so they won their 16th out of 17 last night. That is hard. Uh, they beat baseball. the Red Sox 3 2. They wow. were led by uh, John Carlos Stanton, who had two monster home runs. Yeah. After the game, Yankees manager and good friend of Colin Cowherd, yeah. Aaron Boone, My good friend. spoke about the performance of the Yankees lineup and Stanton. For as much as I feel like we talk about it, it's still been fairly productive um obviously we know there's going to be a point where he really gets it rolling but but that's you know we're built that way our lineup you know it's it's going to be different guys you're not going to have guys hot all the time you're going to have guys that go through a funk even even some of your best players so that's just the nature of hitting an offense and a lineup is you're going to kind of have those ebb and flows with guys sure nice to have a good friend and inside information, yeah, we're the greatest the team in the you're world. Gonna, you're going to share with me. God, how, how much fun is it, though, that like Yankees-Red Sox, arguably two best teams in baseball, and like, the Cubs. This series like yeah. matters. It's kind of fun again, right? No, you got Cubs or Cardinals are really good. The Nats have Bryce Harper. They're very good. Angels, Mike Trout are very good right now. Dodgers are kind of a mess. And, and the, I think the thing about the Yankees, which is fun, is for a lot of years, you know, they were getting old. Mariano yeah. was old, and Teixeira was old, and CeCe was old. And those were like the, the, the bell cows. Most of their players now, it's Sanchez, it's Aaron Judge, it's Torres. They're, they're and all, even Stanton isn't yeah, old. Yeah, like it's He's a just fun. A it, your, your fans are growing with them. Yeah. Instead of having old guys land there, playing the string out. It's a fun team to watch.
Veteran newsman John Goulet. Well, that's the news. And thanks for stopping by. The Herd Lie News. Car won't start. Advance Auto Part offers free battery starter and alternator testing and free battery installation with purchase. 6,000 stores in North America. Advance Auto Parts. Okay. Karan Butler is stopping by uh, here in about 10 minutes. But we do it every Wednesday. Uh, we've got some football stuff, some basketball stuff. I'm your stockbroker. It's called Buy, Sell, or Hold. Here we go. Time to buy, sell, or hold. I'd buy that for a dollar. Colin will decide if he'll buy, buy it, sell, or, sell. or hold. hold. All right, Colin, buy, sell, or hold. Josh McDaniels will be the head coach of the Patriots in 2019. Well, Robert Kraft, it's now been disclosed, saved Josh McDaniels. He was going to go to the Colts to be the head coach. Bob Kraft came in and made him the highest paid coordinator in the NFL. And many believe, I do, he's the best coordinator in the NFL. So sh clearly... They sold him on, we're going to make you the highest paid coordinator, and uh, wink, wink, you could get the job eventually. The question with Belichick is he's 66 years old. want to remind you, he's an academic. Academics generally don't look to retire early and play golf. They like to be challenged. Marv Levy was an academic. George Hallis, they coached until they were 72. Okay, academics... Don't rush to golf courses. They're curious. They seek new information and challenges. So, John. Sell, sell, sell. Josh McDaniels will not coach the Patriots next year. Belichick's in it for a few more. By seller hold, the Cowboys will have a losing record for the first time under Dak Prescott. Well, here's an interesting thing. Uh, Dak Prescott's never had a losing record in high school, college, or the pros. It's an overused cliche. That guy's a winner, but he has literally been a winner everywhere. It also matters that they are going to play the AFC South and the NFC South. There's a lot of good divisions in football, but the NFC South has a shaky Tampa Bay team. Um, Carolina is hot and cold, and the AFC South, I believe Jacksonville pulls back Tennessee, do you really trust? I don't. In Indianapolis, we don't really know the future of Andrew Luck. So, John, sell, sell, sell. the Cowboys will not have a losing season under Dak Prescott. No, they will not. Uh, buy, sell, or hold. Jimmy Garoppolo will lose week one at Minnesota. Now, he's never lost as a starting quarterback. And one of the things that needs to be said San Francisco is absolutely still in a rebuilding mode now I know you're looking at Garoppolo last year and you're saying well look at this team they didn't lose they were 5-0 and oh. they still have secondary issues they don't know if Reuben Foster their best linebacker is coming back and they drafted a tackle with their first pick but they still have to for the next 12 months rebuild through free agency or the draft that offensive line by the way, the Vikings are four-and-a-half-point favorites in that game and had the number one scoring defense last year. John? Bye, bye, bye! Niners will start the year 0-1 against the Vikings. I figured you'd have them 16-0. I am shocked. No. Buy, sell, or hold. Baker Mayfield will start a game for the Browns this season. Well, let's just look at what happens when you're talking about rookie quarterbacks. Now, here's the downside. Tyrod Taylor is right now better than Baker Mayfield. Tyrod Taylor, outside of Tom Brady, has the best quarterback touchdown to interception ratio last two years in the NFL. Tyrod Taylor, when he leaves the pocket, averages more in the last three years than Russell Wilson or Cam Newton. Tyrod Taylor's a real starting quarterback. Okay, now, now I'm not going to build my future around him, but he doesn't make mistakes. He's very athletic and just took a dying franchise that's dysfunctional in cold weather to a playoff game. Um, but here's the thing. Tyrod Taylor has never started 16 games in a season in his career. He runs and gets banged up. And Jake Locker was the last first-round quarterback to not start a game his rookie season 2011. Bye, bye, bye! Uh, yeah, Baker Mayfield will start a game this year. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't until after Thanksgiving.
Buy, sell, or hold. LeBron James will not make it to the NBA Finals. Okay, he's going to face Philadelphia or Boston. It's 3-1. Boston leads the series, and they're at home. I'm going to presume, although I think tonight it's going to be a very competitive game, it's a very close 3-1 series. This is not like Houston leading 3-1 over Utah. Uh, that's not the way this series is. This is not Golden State 3-1 over the Pelicans. These are, these are close teams. Uh, I, I think there's a greater depth of shooting talent on Boston. I think they're a little better situationally. They have a few more older players, and I think they have a great situational coach. But here's something to remember. LeBron is 17-5 and five against Boston since he returned to Cleveland. We always talk about LeBron is in Toronto's head. LeBronto, he's also in Boston's head, John. Sell, sell, sell! Uh, LeBron will make it past Boston to the finals. He won't next year if he stays. He will this year. And last one, buy, sell, or hold. Russell Westbrook will be traded. Okay, now let's let's acknowledge that I don't love Westbrook. I think he's incredibly hard to play with. But there's a couple of things working here. He is under contract for the next four years. Okay, so if you trade for him, if you trade for him, you got him for four years. Now that's okay if you're a bottom feeding team. But his supermax contract kicks in next year. He'll be making thirty-five million a year. That is prohibitive. So what you're saying basically is that if he does leave, because no, Houston doesn't want him. They don't want to disrupt this. Boston doesn't want him. They don't want to disrupt this. He wouldn't work in Popovich's system. and He's not going to Golden State. And Philadelphia's got a point guard. So there's four or five teams at the top that have no interest whatsoever with his skill set. So, John, sell, sell, sell. Russell Westbrook is not going to get traded. The market for him is really poor and mostly bad teams and a supermax contract makes him cost prohibitive now i i i also believe um one of the things i've been told and i believe it to be true it's not finalized paul george will become a laker um and i think that will also stain westbrook's reputation um which has already been somewhat stained uh who was the guy that zach lowe came out three days ago sources told him in the nba Multiple people now that are leading organizations are saying it may be time to move off Westbrook. I don't think they can do it. Karan Butler, one of my favorite guys, is right around the corner. Sam Darnold, New York Jets quarterback, at the top of next hour. Don't go anywhere. All right, Sunday is the day. What day is Sunday? Football day, basketball day, soccer day, hockey day? No, no, no. I'm going to a soccer match Sunday, but... May 13th is Sunday. It's Mother's Day. Guys, don't send a text. That's pathetic. That is pitiful. Go to Sherry's Berries. Take care of mom or your grandma or your sister or your wife, the kids. Right now, Sherry's Berries, $19.99 shipping and handling. Arrives in a beautiful signature box, beautiful ribbon, no gift wrap required. Huge, fresh, juicy strawberries dipped in milk, dark or white chocolate. Got top with nuts and chocolate chips and signature swizzles. You choose the delivery date. They do the rest. Berries.com, code HERD. B-E-R-R-I-E-S.com, code HERD. 19.9 plus shipping and handling. Now, you could add, you can double the strawberries for just $10 more at berries.com, code HERD. You wouldn't